Oh, so, so, so. What's up, dudes? Yo, happy day. If you haven't uh, gotten a hit of salvation this morning, I'd recommend doing that. Uh, renewing your dome. The new reality, the finished work of the cross is a game changer in that all of God lives inside of us. You can read your Bible for yourself. Check it out. Um, but hey, uh, been reading the book of Daniel. And uh, Daniel's pretty tripped out. Uh, and I want to I ask you this question today. Um, have you been feeling a sense of concern? Uh, I've been feeling a sense of concern when I get up in the morning. Around a few things, specifically kind of like just financial provision for my family. And like what the future is going to hold. And all that good stuff. But the second one is my parenting, where I'm, I'm literally waking up thinking about it and just feeling this sense of concern. And there's been different parts of my life when that's been a, a pattern, uh, but specifically around the interwebs, when, when I get on the interwebs and I get all caught up on this thing. Uh, it's not always bad, it's just, just there, it's on my heart, it's concerning. And, um, Specifically in the uh, craziness of culture, uh, I wanted to invite you to read the book of Daniel and um, take some time, but read the whole book. Read it a few times. You know, oftentimes we can approach the scripture looking for this quick fix. Uh, but as I've, I've been reading it this week, I've been through it a few times. I'm shocked at what's sticking in my gut is this reality that God's establishing a kingdom that like will remain forever and in the midst of all this conflict this chaos these tripped out visions encounters even some of the wicked uh, behavior of nebuchadnezzar belshazzar all those dudes darius uh at the end of the day god is working and he's establishing his kingdom how it's going to look who really knows what's our part to play who really knows actually you can know but the only way you can know is by being with God. You're not going to like learn something on the internet and be all concerned. And then all of a sudden everything's going to change. Like the wisdom of heaven, the way God functions is in peace, the self-control. And I think this is what Daniel experienced consistently in the midst of someone's troubling encounters and chaotic experiences. But specifically check out Daniel 2 and the prayer inside of Daniel 2 and just the courage that it brings when you pray that with Daniel. It basically just talks about God is king. He deposes nations. He's sovereign. He's good. He reveals the mysteries of everything. Like check it out. But also the end of Daniel 13 or the end of uh, the book of Daniel in chapter 12, it got me this morning. It says this. Daniel's having this uh, uh, back and forth and, and it ends with God or this angel essentially telling him, as for you, go your way till the end. You will rest and at the end of the days you will rise to receive your allotted inheritance. And uh, what would it look like if that was true for you? In the midst of our concern, our angst, like to set that before Jesus and replace that with this courageous reality that God is king and he's in control of everything like it changes everything if we let our hearts go there and oftentimes we have to remind ourselves about 50 times a day so I'm receiving that in regards to my future I'm receiving that in regards to parenting God loves my kids more than I do and is actively pursuing them God loves our nation more than I do. God loves our culture more than I do. And he's moving. He's establishing his kingdom. And so what does that look like for us to get in on it? And not just allow our minds and our hearts to run with anxiety. So if you're feeling that in the mornings, in the evenings, during the day, man, maybe, maybe our solution is to get up into heaven. And I would suggest that the book of Daniel could be incredibly encouraging for your soul, check it out. Specifically, prayer and Daniel 2. But really, the whole thing. All right, pals. That's all I got today. I'm going to go and worship King Jesus with some of my homies. Uh, enjoy the interwebs.
Stop scrolling. Step up into heaven. Read your Bible. Resurrection fools. Peace.